Do you have your passport to adventure? Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I've missed you. Um, today I am working with Passport to Adventure. My son went on a little spring break vacation a couple of years ago, so we're going to make a page. And yes, I have pictures. That's exciting, right? Um, winter is back at my house. It is snowing currently. I am so ready for spring. Daylight savings time is messing with me. It's just all, a bunch of stuff happening all at once and I'm bleh, crazy. Anyways, don't forget to head here for more fun, including... You can hit a little let's chat button if you want more information on um, getting commission on what you're already buying. Maybe selling to a few friends around a kitchen table. It's super simple. They're paying you a dollar to join and there's no strings attached. There's no minimums. It's so exciting and I would love to have you join me. Um, let me know. Hit that little let's chat. You can also find registrations for my crops and retreats. Some have Zoom options. I have some no longer available items on there as well as digital scrapbook products and pre-made scrapbook pages. So let's get to it. Okay, here's the paper I'm gonna use today. I got some embellishments. My pictures are already cut to size. I have a mat I wanna use. Um, this is the sketch I'm going off of today. This is page 78 in the newest sketchbook. And in case you're wondering, you can find directions. I did not read them. You know me. You know how it goes. I just kind of go with it. Um, but if you search seasonal sightings on the blog, you'll find this sketch if you don't have this book. And you'll have all the instructions too. So um, that's what we're doing. I think... I had a plan and now I don't know if I have a plan. Um, let's go with, we need a base to build on and then we need something for mats and we need a strip. So let's build on this blue because I love it. Oh yeah, we got choices. I'm gonna make that center strip out of this and it is three and a half inches wide. So I'm just gonna cut a three and a half inch piece with my straight trimmer. This paper is super, super pretty. Love it. We also need some photo mats. So I should probably measure these because I cut these a few days ago just to be sure. But this is four and a half. So these are all four and a half by three and a half and I have three of those. So I want some mats and I really like this yellow. I want some mats that are four. So I'm just gonna add a quarter inch. So four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I'm trying to decide, I think three and three quarters this way will give me the most out of my paper. Three and three quarters and then four and three quarters. I need three of them. So I need one more. Uh, we, tr we decided, but this one is almost exactly four and three quarters. So I'm just gonna cut three and three quarters this way. And then I have a quite a big chunk left. All right, and then I need a, let's see, I have these other pictures, which are three and a half square. So let's do some out of this fun gray. We'll do three and three quarter square. I just have two of those, I believe. three and three quarter square, need two of them. As long as I measure correctly, anyways, those should be three and three quarter square, perfect. So those are for these. And these are for these, so I still have 
this skinny guy that we need a mat for. And this one is just a little too small. Do we wanna do yellow or gray? Let's do yellow or this gray, I mean, to use up this. So this one is two and a half by three and a half, I believe. So we need three and three quarter by two and three quarter. And there's a map for it. Perfect. Now, um, in the sketch, it shows a little journal box up here that's the same size as that skinny photo. I am just going to fussy cut the suitcase out because I think that'll be cute. So I'm going to get my little precision point scissors for this fussy cutting project. They feel a little sticky. I probably cut too many foam squares with them. They need a cleaning. But they'll work for this quick job here. I love fussy cutting. It's fun with the mats, and then you have more embellishments. Now I could have, and I should have, to be honest, I should have cut this suitcase out first, so I would have had a frame. But that's what I get for not thinking ahead. My son after, well, it wasn't after, in his senior year, two of the moms took six or seven of the boys, the senior boys, on a little trip. They flew to Las Vegas and then they drove to California. So it was kind of neat to watch their trip from afar. I couldn't go, unfortunately, but. These little wheels are fun. Go round and round the circle. So this isn't quite the size I needed for the sketch, but I think it will work just fine. And I saw a couple spots I wanted to work on a little bit. Maybe right here. And I do want to cut this out. So I'm just going to poke a hole with my scissors and then get in here and trim this out. And we can pretty it up later. Now, if you don't want to fussy cut all this out, you just need another journal box that's two and a half by three and a half. But I think that's fun. I'm gonna leave it just like that. So if I had thought ahead, I could have cut this out and I probably still could use it as a photo mat and cover that up with an embellishment. So I'll probably save it because it is a cute color and it matches all our stuff. All right, so we're done cutting, I believe. Pretty simple page today. But I did want to show you some of this passport stuff. I am working on my spring crop series. So with this guy, I want to put it in the center. So I'm going to line this up on my 13 by 13 mat. And then I'm gonna line this up in the center right on that six. Just like so. Perfect. And then we have all our pictures. This guy is gonna go up here. Let's put all our pictures on our mats. 
So I am working on my spring crop series. Um, I'll be launching that here probably next week. And we'll start that in about probably a month. And then of course I have my National Scrapbook Day events going. Registration is up for those. And we have a big retreat in Grand Junction, Colorado that are, we're almost full. We have about 18, 16 seats available, 16 seats left. Um, this one goes on here and I was planning on putting it in the center. It's kind of an extra picture because I had more that I wanted to use. I did welcome two new team members last week. So I am working on that Mexico trip. I would love for you all to join me. It's pretty simple to earn, especially for somebody new. I love these borders and guess what guys, there's two in each package. So you don't have to buy um, two packages to do a two page spread. So I love that. All right. Um, question is I should probably tape this down because I want it to go under that cute it's turning out so cute I'm actually getting ready to go on my trip that I earned here next month. I'm really excited. I'm excited for some beach time and get away from the snow. I hope you all have some fun, either spring break or summer trips planned. I am excited for summer. I'm excited to get my paddleboard out. Look how much gas was in California. Some of you probably know this. $6.29. I thought that was crazy. Um, gas here right now is about, it's right around $3. Probably, maybe a little under. Okay. We have this one that I want to put on here. And I think I'm just going to lay it on top of all this. Because I don't want to cover. You know what I should do? Yeah, we should cut this. Because I could use it somewhere else. Perfect. Let's not waste stuff. I probably could have cut that car a little more even. Oh, well, it's fine. Dimension. That's really cute. Okay, I want to put this on here. This says adventure. It's part of the embellishments. And then we'll take a look at our stickers. See if there's any I want to use. Super cute. Let's see. I love these. The sky's the limit. So much fun. Are we there yet? What is life but one grand adventure? Travel far, travel wide. I like so much fun. Some of them kids had never been to the ocean, so it was kind of cool. There's some borders in here. Um, maybe a pick a camera. I just can't believe it's snowing today. 
craziness. I think I need one more little phrase or word. Go see do. Okay, I love it. Okay, I hope you liked that quick and easy. Don't forget to check out the blog. There's lots of, lots of, lots of ideas on there. So if, even if you don't have the sketchbook, you can find most of the sketches in there with directions. So if you struggle like I do at times, you can read the directions, which is probably something I should, advice I should take. Anyways, thanks so much. Don't forget to go here for more fun and I'll see you next time.